Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are continuing our code vein wish list it's for changes of course but this time we're also going to talk about the gameplay aspect of the game not necessarily all of them and not necessarily combat but we're going to talk about things such as the graphics sound effects and generally sounds as well but we're also going to talk about some other stuff like the animations before i start i just wanted to say that they have released some gameplay footage with eo as a partner this time in the range of project souls now in that uh, footage I've seen things that make me really smile I was really happy to see them and I'm not going to talk about them because they are so good that you shall discover it in the game by yourself now of course if you see it yourself that's good but keep it for yourself please don't actually spoil it for people in the comment section because there are things that are really nice so let's just not talk about that footage <laughs> in general so anyways let's start with the graphics so I went back to see the video where they released the second blood version for the first time and I, something that bugged me was the fact that that video made the game look so good and I wasn't really sure what it was at first but now that I, I know what it is so in fact at the event when they were streaming the game uh, the stream had a much higher amount of contrast into it which made the game had more shadows and look darker but also made the light look brighter at the same time so it kind of make the game look more realistic compared to any other build that we've seen and any other footage that we've seen and it looked really nice in my opinion but the only problem was the fact that the colors were too flashy I would say they were way too intense because of the contrast now looking at that and and then looking at the other footage from other players and other uh, youtubers and stuff like that I've seen that the quality had decreased and I was kind of surprised about it but it was just the fact it was just because in the stream uh, on YouTube the stream just had that much amount of contrast now I don't think the game needs the same contrast I don't even think the game needs more contrast to it the thing that it needs is just more shadows and more reflections on the light to add more bloom effect to the to, to any light source that exists in the game here i have some examples of uh, modifications that i have made personally on some screenshots uh, that the game has of course i'm not good at this i'm not the best i'm not the best at modifying things and also i've been using clip studio not photoshop for this so <laughs> please be nice and just see uh, the general idea of course you don't have to agree with it because this is just my point of view so here is what i've done with the maps and with uh with a screenshot that i've modified i've increased the bright uh, I've, dec I've decreased the brightness i mean by 20 percent and i've increased the glow effect from light source such as the sunlight lanterns fireplaces and also tons of judgment by 20 percent and also increase their area so that they have a more bloomy effect to them like they have more bloom to them also i have increased the size of some particles effect such as the dust in the city as you can see we can see the dust a little bit more and it has some reflection with the light and looks really nice in my opinion so uh i think it should add more dust effect to it of course i from what i've seen the that that city has dust effect to it already but it's so small and so transparent that you cannot see if you don't focus your eye on it now of course in the city of falling flames this is where i've made more changes uh, compared to any other map i've added this a uh, smoke effect on top of everything that i've said and i've also added some sparks flying around the map not necessarily too much but some that are just flying around and it's really pretty in my opinion just i think it looks really nice and once again just that bloom effect makes things a lot better and also something that is kind of that bugged me a little bit where the promotional screenshots for the following areas that they have made uh, in the game they had some promotional screenshots that look really nice but it actually doesn't look the same in the game or it doesn't closer to be like that in the game so i thought it would be better if they made the maps to look more realistic just to make, make the graphics of the game a little more realistic in terms of the particle effect or background effects i would say and also in terms of lights and shadows so add more bloom effect to them i would think is really nice 
Anyways, moving on to the sound effects, which is a some sort of it's kind of a problem with the, that the game has right now, and I hope they really fix that. Um, some sound effects are not really pleasant to listen to, such as footstep, footsteps, heavy weapons uh, hitting the ground sometimes, um, also blood veils and rifle and the rifle shot. For the blood veil, when they have released the blood veil trailers, uh, in many of them actually we can see comments of people actually complaining about the sound effects being not as impactful or as visceral as they are supposed to be. I thought it was kind of right what they have been saying about that. Of course, the sound quality and the video quality in general in that in those trailers are not the best. They are not really at the top. So, of course, the sound does, it doesn't sound as clean as it's supposed to be in the game. But it also doesn't sound nice because I, from what I've seen or say listen, it seems to have some conflict between the hit sound because there's a default hit, hit sound effect on the enemies and the blood veil sound as well. For example, if you listen to the Ivy blood veil, you can kind of hear the metallic sound of the blades kind of clashing between them, but it's kind of obstructed by a hit sound effect which is not really nice to listen to. So in my opinion, they should increase the Ivy Blood Base sound, make it more present during the attack. Also, they should add some bone crushing effect to the um, to general sound effect of the hit and also increase the sound effect of the blood dripping because there is a blood dripping sound effect during the animation. It's just that we cannot really hear it because it's very quiet. So next we also have the block sound effect which is in my opinion way too quiet and doesn't make things as impactful as they are supposed to be. Uh, it really does sound like two small pieces of wood clashing instead, uh, instead of being two huge pieces of metal clashing. So just change that to be more realistic or more sound more interesting to the player. So next we also have the rifle sound effect which is a big problem in my case because I really I really dislike that sound effect because I, it's kind of unfortunate because I think the rifle is one of the most unique weapon of code but then again it has some changes that I would like to see it but I'm not going to talk about it for now but just the sound effect is really not interesting it's really uninteresting to listen to and kind of draining in my opinion because when I hear it uh, at repetition when people spam the shot it gets a little bit tiring to my ears and I think it would be nice if they could change that and kind of make it sound more like the harpoon gun from Bloodborne. Harpoon gun in Bloodborne sound really nice, it sounds more realistic than the shot in Code Vein. So just change that and also actually change the bullet visual effect of the rifle to make it more realistic like an actual bullet. Of course I understand it's a blood bullet in Code Vein. And so they can add some red light to it, but just make it thinner instead of that thick red light, that thick red beam that is just covering the whole screen. It's kind of gross in my in my opinion, of course. Uh, next, we also have the footsteps. There's not really much to say about it. You can search for yourself any gameplay footage in the third build and you will listen to that. And it's kind of gross in my opinion. It's really not clean. It sounds somewhat disgusting it's not even echoey it's not, it doesn't fade in an echo it's really it's really gross so next we also have uh i will also request something such as a, a, a idle animation cycle for example the characters that we play as it doesn't move which is kind of weird because the npc the companion the ai companion has animation cycle so i don't understand why our character doesn't have that as well of course they do not need to have the same animation cycle as the other characters because the other characters they have their personality for example mia has a hat which she holds during her cycle and our character doesn't have the same thing so they don't necessarily have need to have the same cycle as the npcs but they need to have something and, and i'm saying that especially because I've heard, I've read some comments saying that the anime, the idol animation with the one hand sword is a little bit boring. So it's either that or they can just change the idol animation for the one hand sword, which should be easier, I think. 
anyways next we also have uh, the blood splatter effect on the floor which is really nice of course and unfortunately for some reason they are making that blood splatter effect disappear after a few seconds I don't think it should disappear I think it's actually a good effect to keep in the in the dungeon now of course it's the type of thing that could cause some performance issues because it adds a new effect to the environment and I don't know if it's the case for the game but I, I think they should if it causes the performance issues I think they should just reduce the amount of blood on the ground and just make it stay in there because it's so good to look at and <laughs> I might sound like psychopath saying that but it's really nice looking and I would like to see it after I have a brutal boss fight for example it really looks nice and in Bloodborne uh, when you fight I think what's her name Bloody Maria <laughs> Lady Maria or something something like that I don't know the DLC boss in her second fight she just she just pissing blood everywhere it's gross and it's really nice to look at and you just see all after the fight you just see all the blood that is covering the room it's really amazing and I think it I really adds to the gore gory uh, aspect of the game so yeah if they could just do that it would be really nice so yeah anyways this is all that I have to say for now so thank you all so much for watching I will make another video again but this time it will be more about the combat aspect of the game not things like that not the side little things are, are not too important but combat system in fact which is the would be more about the icor system and the drain attacks and all that stuff so anyways thank you all so much for watching I'll see you all next time